Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So before I start this video, I would like to say that my heart goes out to everyone who has been affected by the genocide in Southern Kaduna in Nigeria. Um, there was a mass shoot, there was a mass killing, I wouldn't say shooting, there was a mass um, killing that um, went on during in Christmas Eve in Southern Kaduna in Nigeria. And it was done by a Fulani headsman. The only thing I'm going to say is that I really, really hope that um, people there are fine. My, again, I pray the families will be in my prayer and I really, really hope that the Nigerian government takes this seriously and try and try to deal with it. I heard that a lot of people are angry at Buhari, which is understandable. Even I'm even angry. But then, well, allegedly, Buhari is not treating the matter as an urgent matter. Um, yeah, he just doesn't see it as a threat. Obviously, he wouldn't see it as a threat because he's a Fulani man. He's a house of Fulani. What do you respect? Yes, I've said it. See, that's you see, that is the thing because even with the last video that I did, I'm actually glad that I did that because I had to defend myself and make things clear on what I meant by the way house of Fulani people are and the way they make all Muslims look bad in Nigeria. And I'm going to keep saying it over again. They do. They make all Muslims look bad. Um, yeah, and that's just how I feel and I really, really hope that uh, the Nigerian government does something about this. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I see a few, 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 few celebrities doing same things online and things like that and I just hope things get better. Which actually leads me to the topic of today, which is the religion and how I believe it has been used to enslave a lot of people, particularly blacks and Asians mentally. But, right, so pre-colonization um which is prior to when the whites came to nigeria we had our own gods we engaged in um idol worship as they would say and we yeah we had our own gods um the was for example which is where i'm from we had amadioha we had ikenga we had like we had few other gods that actually symbolize this thing so we had um a god of thunder the Urubas, for example had the Sh um the shango and they had few other gods like there were quite a few gods that we worshipped and that we prayed to in Nigeria prior to colonization but it's quite unfortunate that as soon as they came they they came with their Christianity and Arabs came with their Muslims sorry with them um, with their Islam religion and all of a sudden those gods that we worshipped they are now being regarded as false gods um idol worship is not good it's not a good god and it really makes me think the power of of colonization and i think in many ways that's one of the that's one of the um one of the negatives that i think your colonization has done by enslaving people using their religion um now fast forward to the 21st um century there are many black people who like they're they're so caught up in christianity and islam like it's theirs but it's not ours like we have we we act we we're so into the religion that it has become impossible to have a conversation about what matters it has become impossible to engage with someone using valid scientific research without bringing in the bible it's just horrible and what i what i what i um the example that i always give is that okay if you present a piece of information right now to a black person a white person okay let's say um i don't know like um men and women are equal for example huh the black person will go to the bible okay the bible said the man is the head of the family the muslim will go to the quran and the quran said this the quran said that the white person on the other hand would want to consult the expertise of a scientist yes it is sad because i i in my opinion in the religion particularly christianity and islam is definitely a scam i think Christ, Christ, christianity is a business people are making so much money of it and it's so crazy because in nigeria for example there's so many churches that are open and people are running businesses and you see nigerians oh i'm a soldier of christ i'm a warrior of god christ that white people came and brought to your country when you were out there working as a slave they're thanking god for providing their daily bread through you yes that's what they were doing um we've taken ownership of it 
you know and it's, it's so weird because a lot of the things in the bible like i mean it's only when i started to read and when i grew up that i started i started to question a lot of things like for example the noah's ark how can you tell me the whole world fit into something made with wood it to me it doesn't even make sense and then you're telling me a virgin conceived and gave birth and she got pregnant from the holy spirit what where where is the logic behind that i mean who thinks that who believes that and then you and then you 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 want to tell me that um it, i mean adam and eve hmm i don't know because with the way i see it now um i just discovered something called the, the mitochondria gene which is um yeah definite research that if you don't know what it is i'm not gonna go much more into explaining it but um i definitely think that black people should be willing to have a conversation about things um i definitely think that that the religion has been used so much you know it has been used for like it has caused so much problems in the world today look at our con look at my dear country nigeria the majority of the problems we have is because of people who yeah the religious beliefs and i always say this until people actually learn to understand how to separate between understand the separation the between and the religion and and people's human rights or people's constitutional rights they're not going to move forward so yeah i definitely think that's a big problem in nigeria and for black people we need to be willing to have a conversation man like i don't understand how okay okay let me let, let, um, let me give you an example so i went to my my my, my barber a few few like last week and um we were having a comment like it was sort of we were having an argument i would say um an intellectual argument about religion about the colonization and he was like um yeah but the bible is true da, 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 da. and i was so there, there was this guy i don't know his name he was spilling so much information that i was even taking notes on my phone things to research even though i haven't done the research yet but i'm definitely gonna do i'm definitely gonna do it probably before now he spoke about the mitochondria gene he was speaking about the do dogma the do dogma let me see if i can find it i'm telling you man i was taking notes i was like listen i need to read like the dogons and the mali you know, yeah, he was talking about that. He was that he was spilling so much information. And my Bible and a few other Africans in there. Oh, God is real. Um and then my Bible made a point about who um people wanna say they're not really religious because they want to go against the Bible and sin. First of all, the Bible's authenticity authenticity can actually be contested. I don't even believe it's authentic. I don't think it's an authentic book at all. I definitely think the Bible is like any fiction or non-fiction book I could read anyway. Yes, I said it. The Bible is 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 a fiction or non-fiction. Whatever wait, which one is not real? Non-fiction, yeah. The Bible is like a non-fiction book that I can pick what's right for me and I'll just leave it there and just go to a novel. For example, I have so many books like even my friends that have come to my house, <laughs> they're like, what are you doing with all these books? Because I read a lot. I love reading. So I have so many books. And sometimes, like, um, there's a book called, um, oh, I don't know what it's called. But anyways, I read, I, I read so many books. And sometimes it's about taking the right information from the book and applying it to my life. So with the Bible, the way I see it is I can go in there, I can look for an information i can take it and i can apply it to my life and i just leave the rest i don't think it's an authentic book i definitely think it has been changed i i mean people say the bible has been translated but how are you sure that that person translating has not added his own twist into the thing and now and now put it in there for example i don't believe in a lot of things that the bible says for example the bible tells me that a man and a woman is not equal the bible is telling me um, homosexuality is wrong the bible is actually saying to me that as a man my, my my masculinity is defined by the ability to provide for my household and the ability to be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth well what if i don't want to be fruitful what and and i think that's that kind of links to the pressure as well of so many black people um so many black parents actually pressure their kids to get married because that's what the bible has taught them that's what we're here for the procreation the purpose of mankind is recreation i'm sorry that's not my purpose i've said it times without number i'm not interested in having kids i'm not i really don't care kids are wonderful i probably would change my mind later on but 
with how it is and with how I've, I've always been I've just never been interested in having kids and my purpose is not to be fruitful and multiply my purpose is to be the best possible version of me and make sure that I leave a footprint on the signs of time I want um, I want to be remembered for who I am and for being true to myself I'm actually contributing positively to the society because it's so crazy what people have done you know, with the name of religion so my point is in as much as you can be religious you can be religious but be willing to have a conversation because to me if you look at other countries not to me but if, when, when, when you look at yeah be willing to have a conversation you need to be willing to at least have a dialogue be be willing to talk be be just be open-minded don't allow yourself and your mind to be too clustered on your religious beliefs because that's just not how things work this is reality um yeah and that's my thing i definitely believe that black people and asians well, this, well some of them but i'm saying black because i am black and I'm, I'm and i'm nigerian a lot of nigerians are so mentally enslaved that the fact that he has become unconscious i mean he is unconscious um, and I plead on every black person there and everyone to emancipate yourself from mental slavery as Bob Marley said Just free yourself become liberated read 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 and read ask questions questions and don't just believe what was fed to you by the white missionaries And now you think is good and now the gods that we worship before are false gods It's like I, I, I definitely think is is like terrible I really really hope things change and again my prayers go to everyone in in Southern Kaduna but this is just what um, I've been thinking about recently about um, religion um, yeah that's why I think we need to be more open-minded and be willing to have a conversation